Welcome to Prezium Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 10 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss working with multiple tables. Please watch part 9 before proceeding with this video. In SQL Server Database, I've got these two tables on the left hand side. We have TBL Department Table which has got Departments Data and on the right hand side we have TBL Employees Table which has got Employee Data. Now using these two tables, I want to build an MVC application in which Departments List page should display the list of all departments that are available in TBL Department Table. Department names must be rendered as hyperlinks. Once I click on a department name, then we should redirect the user to the employee list page which shows all the employees belonging to the department upon which we have clicked. And then once I click on an employee name, then we should redirect the user to the employee details page, which shows the complete details of the employee, like employee ID, name, gender, and city. And then on this employee details page, notice that we have this link back to employee list, which when I click, you know, we should redirect the user back to the employee list page. And once I click on this link here, back to department list, we should redirect the user back to the department list page. Let's see how to implement this. First, we'll implement the department list page okay so let's uh, flip to SQL Server Management Studio look at this I have these two tables TBL department and TBL employee so let's flip to Visual Studio first let's go ahead and add a model class okay so right click on the models folder add new class and let's call this department department.cs that's the name of the class file so a class is going to be department class and if you notice the department table it has got two columns ID and name so let's go ahead and create two properties so public int ID and let's have the get and set accessors and along the same lines let's go ahead and have you know the name of the department which is going to be string and then look at this, an employee, I mean a department can have multiple employees. So we are going to have another property here. So public list of employee and let's call this employees. So a department can have multiple employees. So using this property, we are going to retrieve the list of employees who belong to the given department. Okay, so we have our department model object already. So let's go ahead and build the solution so that we'll have this department class compiled. So that's the first step to do. Okay, and this department class should be mapped to TBL department table and to do that I'm going to use the you know table attribute and if you remember table attribute is present in system dot component model dot data annotations dot schema namespace so I'm going to use the table attribute now and then we are going to specify the name of the table so which is going to be TBL department let's copy the name of the table okay so we have our department model class right now and then the next important thing to do is if you look at the employee context class at the moment it's only retrieving the DB set of employees we also need to retrieve the DB set of departments as well so let's add another property to this employee context class so and I'm going to call that DB set of department and let's name the property as departments okay so that's the second change now let's go ahead and implement the department controller class and to do that right click on the controllers folder add controller and let's call it department controller let's click add so that should add the department controller um, class for us and then I'm going to make use of this default uh, um, index action method here so what we need to do we need to create an instance of employee context class so where is this employee context class present that's present in this MVC demo dot models namespace so let's go ahead and import this namespace in our department controllers um, class file so 
so employee context let's create an instance of this employee context class which is going to establish the connection to the database and then let's use the department's property of the employee context class to retrieve uh, you know the list of departments that are present in TBL departments table okay so this property is going to return the list of departments okay so let's convert that to list and then let's declare a variable which can hold the list of departments so list department and let's call it departments all right and let's hand over these departments to the view for rendering okay so the next step is obviously to add a view which can render the list of departments and to do that I'm going to right click on the index action method from the context menu select add view the name of the view is going to be index we're going to make use of razor view engine and we want to create a strongly typed view and we want to select department as our model class okay and let's click add which should add the index view look at that in the views folder it has automatically added the department folder and within that we have this index dot CSHTML so within the departments list page first of all the title of the page should be departments list so let's go ahead and change the title of the page to departments list and let's also set you know the text on the page to departments list okay and let's use a div tag here just to specify some styles so div style is equal to I'm going to set the font family to area okay let's go ahead and use a using statement so that we don't have to you know use the fully qualified name of the department class every time so I'm going to get rid of that fully qualified name there and I'm going to use you know using MVC models MVC demo dot models okay that's the namespace and the department class is present within that namespace okay so we know that um, you know to this view we are actually handing over a list of departments look at this this is actually a collection of departments but if you look at our index.cshtml at the moment we are only getting one department object so we are expecting I mean we are actually passing a list back so I'm going to set the model as I enumerable of department okay so now what we need to do we need to loop through this list of departments that this view is going to receive and then we want to display the department names okay and if you remember in the previous session we discussed about using HTML um, you know action link helper to generate the hyperlinks for us okay so I'm going to go back to the employee um, you know index um, view of the employee controller and I'm going to copy this code and then use it within our departments page so I'm going to copy this and then let's paste that within our index.cshtml of the departments folder okay so for each department because you know this view is going to receive list of departments so for each department let's call the object as department in model what is our model its list of departments so we are looping through each department and what we are trying to do we are actually you know look at this if you remember the action link you need to specify the link text and the action name and then any root values okay any parameters if at all that method has got some parameters okay so here you know basically the link text has to be the department name so department name and then we want to you know when I click the hyperlink the department name hyperlink we actually want to invoke uh, you know we want to redirect the user to employee list page okay and to which controller action method within the employee list page 
we want to redirect the user to the index action of the employee controller. So here we have employee controller. We want to redirect the user to index action. Okay. So I'm going to specify the action method as index. And if you remember, we want to redirect the user to the employee controller. So I'm going to use another overloaded version of this action link method. You know, it has got several overloads. We discussed about them in the previous session. Look at this. There are 10 overloads. Now, when I click this department name hyperlink, we want to redirect the user to the index action of the employee controller. OK, so here we also need to specify the controller name as well. And to do that, look at this. There are several overloads. So I can use an overloaded version, you know, where it takes the controller name as well. So I want to redirect the user to employee controller. And then look at this. I need to specify, you know, the root values as well. Because look at this. When I click on a department name, then we redirect, we redirect the user to the employee list uh, page. And we want to, on that page, we want to display the list of employees belonging to the department on which I have clicked. So to the destination page, we also need to pass the department ID. OK, so that's going to be the parameter. So I'm going to call this for now department ID. And then how do we get access to the department ID? use the department object. So department ID is equal to department dot ID. OK, so that should do. So let's go ahead and run this now and see if the department names will be listed as expected. So we want to go to the department controller and index action method should display the list of departments. Look at this. I get the list of departments as expected. And when I hover my mouse over, look at that. I'm actually getting, it says localhost MVC demo department. And it says question mark length is equal to 8. You know, it's not actually working as expected. Why is that? That's because if you look at the overloaded version we are using, we are actually using the wrong version of action link um, HTML helper uh, method. So I want to use an overloaded version which takes the link text. You know, so we have the link text, the department name, and then I actually, if you look at this, I want to use an overloaded version which takes po four parameters here the link text which is the department name the action name which is the index um, you know action within employee controller and then these are the root values and finally you know this overloaded version also expects you know html attributes to be passed i am passing null at the moment okay so this is the correct version of uh, you know uh, action link HTML helper method that I want to use. So with this, it should work as expected. So let me run this once again. And then let's go back to departments, controller and index action. Let me hover my mouse over there and look at that. Now it's working as expected. Look at the URL there. Uh, when I click on this, it's going to fail, but that's fine. But look at the URL. We are navigating the user to the employee uh, controller. And we are passing the department ID there. OK, so the index action within the employee controller now needs to receive you know, department ID parameter. So let's go ahead and pass that. So I'm going to call this department ID. And then look at this. This employee context object is going to retrieve all employees. We don't want all employees. We want to filter the employees based on the department ID. And to do that, I'm going to use a where clause here, the link extension method, where you know the employee such that employees department ID. Look at that. Now I don't have the department ID property in the employee object at the moment. So let's go ahead and add that property to our employee object, the employee model class. So let's go to the employee model class. And then I'm going to add here the department ID property. 
and that's going to also have the default get and set accessor all right so now let's come back to the employee controller index action method we want to filter the employees based on the department to which they belong I'm going to use the where clause for that where employee such that EMP dot department ID is equal to whatever we are passing into this controller action method and we convert that to list and then we hand that uh, you know list to the view so now we are filtering okay so now let's go ahead and run this and see if it works as expected so let's navigate to department um, controller index action method so we are let me click on the IT department so now look at that I get all the employees that belong to the IT department so let's go back click on the payroll department look at that I get the employees who belong to payroll department now the rest of the workflow is already implemented you know this page we have implemented in the previous session okay so when I click on this back to list I'm going to go back but then look at this the problem is when I actually click on this back to list uh, look at the URL it's going to the index action of the employee controller but then if you remember the index action of the employee controller expects a department ID to be passed back which we are not doing at the moment so let's go ahead and change that so within the details um, you know view of the employee let's go ahead and change this here so we want to you know send the user back to the index action of the employee controller uh, but then we also need to specify the department ID because right now we are filtering the employees based on the department to which they belong so here the model here is actually the employee object and if you remember employee object has got a department ID so all we need to do here is to pass the department ID okay so how do we pass the department ID so new and we specify department ID is equal to at model dot department ID that's it so this should fix that issue so let me run this once again let's go back to department index let's click on HR department so we are on the employee list let's click on um, the employee name and we are on the employee details page now look at this when I click this I go back you know to that department which is the HR department okay now here we need to implement another link you know when I click on that link we need to redirect the user back to the department list let's see how to implement that so we let me copy this and then use it within our index action I mean index view so now look at this we want to go back from the employee list to the department list and you know how do we get the department list we have the index action within the departments controller so we need to redirect the user back to the index action of the departments controller and to do that so I'm going to use the I'm going to go to the index action we also need to specify the controller name to which controller we want to go we want to go to the department controller and we don't have to specify any parameters for the department um, you know index action because it's going to list all the departments so I'm going to get rid of this one and if you look at the overloaded version that I'm using so I'm using the one which takes the link text you know this overloaded version link text action name and the controller name alright now let's go ahead and run this we should have everything working now so I want to go to department index click on the department we should have the employees belonging to that department I click on this one it should go back to the department list so click on IT department go to that employee back to list back on IT department employees back to list the complete um, you know department list on this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.